called the Media versus Palestine. Okay. Their names were Ismail, Muhammad, and Ali. Did you hear their names on the news? Their names were Ismail, Muhammad, and Ali. Did you hear their names on the news? I really don't think that you did because you were too busy hearing the names, Cecile. The truth is that Palestinian names and faces are not remembered. In a world where awareness and public opinion is controlled by a cycle, a 24-7 news cycle that shows you the things that they want you to see, but don't show you the things that you need to see. So how can we be aware of those who watch as their homes are destroyed? How can we be aware of those who watch as their neighbors are murdered if the only thing that they are showing on that very 24-7 news cycle is the encounter of a boy with a gorilla. All those people, all those lives, their stories weren't spread. All those people, all those lives, their stories weren't spread. Their losses weren't known of. There were no interviews conducted. In a world where everything can get everywhere in a matter of hours, minutes, even seconds, but in a world where the situation in Palestine cannot go anywhere, anytime. In a world where Brexit and the U.S. elections had far more global coverage than the situation in Gaza where there are enough things destroyed to cover the globe. In reality, we don't get to mourn the loss of the Palestinian lives. We don't get to attend the vigils that take place for them. We don't get to make a change and bring peace because we do not know what's happening. We are not aware of what's happening because the news cycle wants you to see what they want you to see and they do not want you to see Palestine because ultimately they are on the line. And so they replace the bloodshed with monkey bread, Gaza with Hollywood drama, the killings with shillings because in our world, the number of people at Trump's inauguration is more important than the number of people affected by occupation. Why do we spend time with conversations about alternative facts when there is a nation being attacked? Why do we spend time with fake news when over there there is real news about a nation's abuse, bombs that defuse genocide for amuse, human rights misuse? Indifference. Indifference is the word. Indifference is the world. In my eyes, your eyes, our eyes. The world is indifferent to Palestinian suffering. We must create a fine line between the media's reality and actuality so that we could create a fine line between Palestine and injustice. That same 24-7 news cycle that shows you the things that they want you to see but don't show you the things that you need to see and the thing that we all really need to see is the freedom of Palestine. Freedom.